right now. But for game one, they are going to be going to Battlefield. Um, and right off the bat, Chris wants to be breaking space. He doesn't want to be uh, giving Zelda any room to breathe whatsoever. Really, really like starting aggro every single match. Wow, able to get so many follow-ups after that double jump cancel PK fire. Um, into the foot. The Phantom. Oh my god. Oh, and that was... Ill-advised. Ill-advised is best. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree with that. Really nice use of the magnet to cross up uh, ZTN because if he didn't get even get the magnet hit, he would position himself in a really nice and safe way. Dude, that was mad good. The dare cross up? I did not expect that to go behind him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ness's air dodge is wild. I'm not gonna kill, but. No, not quite yet. The taunt. The taunt. Chris has only historically taken one set away from ZTN. Unfortunately, PK Chris, he was just uh, away. He had to be a little bit closer to ZTN to actually get the shield break set up. Because if ZTN would jump from any point there, or if he would roll in, he would get hit with the fully charged up smash, or if he would keep holding shield, that would shield break on every single character in the game. That up smash that ledge is so menacing. Up smash on a platform like that. Yeah, th there's very little that you can do because the hits like confirm into themselves when they space that close. God bless Ness. By the way, I just, I just, I just, I just hope everybody knows that. But ZTN actually managing uh, to throw out the Nihu's love and reflect the already active one. Oh, he wanted that there. Oh, he got it again. The uh, untackable. Bye bye. This game just snowballed away from <laughs> DTN as soon as he lost. Yeah, but I'm just looking at all of these sets on the play database. It's possible that their names were added to like a differently. Sometimes it is somebody's name is misspelled, but generally speaking, the ZTN is extremely positive on PK Chris. On a stage as big as Kalos, right? Like Zelda's gonna have so much room just to be able to like run away. And look how active that reflector was. Dude, Can I see that. The coolest, the funniest thing about this is if Chris beat CTN on this, he's like, well, who's Wi Fi? Except, you know, Zelda's a better Wi Fi character. Yeah, somebody's gonna. Listen, people people will always find a way to talk about something. Uh, Chris has to be really careful about burning his double jump like that um, in, in Phantom's face like that because he almost got knocked off stage for it several times already. I'm just a little bit too. He had the right idea. Right now, this is ZTN trying to get a juggle. Interesting commitment to the F smash. Not entirely sure what the thinking was behind it. ZTN trying to get like a hard call out on a jump. Yeah, okay, uh, but it was a smart. It was a smart idea. Chris had been uh, had been double jump uh, side magnet in order to like stall up above Phantom. Mm -hmm. So that's why he like Phantomed into up air. Oh, the up B right on stage. Just gonna connect. No, but he's not gonna kill quite yet. I like the fact that Chris went through the flash there. It was just mostly to scare off ZTN from trying to go through anything too close to the corner. Um, and then once he saw that he had enough time to recover normally, he just stopped charging the flash. Yeah. That's a into the lightning kick. Gonna get the sour spot because uh, Chris had the correct, um, like a DI on it. Yeah, the amount of space on this stage is really making it a lot harder for Chris to kind of like stifle ZTN. Yeah, every time like he gets a hit and is not able to get like a really strong follow up out of it, ZTN runs away to the other side, um, and he just controls the space super super well. Oh, I was ill advised. It has to be so careful in doing things like that. That's gonna be the tech. Ch oh, I would have thought that would be like the tech chase on the plot. It's not. That's a down throw into the lightning kick again. ZTN. Uh, ZTN not accounting for PK Chris's DI. Good lightning kick out of shield to punishing the F smash. And this is a complete opposite from what we saw game one. 
Chris is like such a momentum based player, he needs to start with that kind of momentum. Yeah. Interesting choice. Uh, ZTN not opting for the get up attack or anything. Uh, just decides to uh, teleport onto stage. Oh, <gasps> and the game is fine. Interacting with the people. <laughs> that was you, what, Ness has lag while he's absorbing something, so you can basically like kind of punch him yeah, in the face while he's doing that. that. But there's a lot of canceling that makes it very innocuous of what you're gonna do. Mm. Right, let's get into it. That was uh, that, that was the patented PK Chris start. He's like, I'm gonna run at your face right now. Yeah. ZTN trying to throw out a Nihilus Love out of the PK fire, but Chris already like aware of that and just like spacing himself out of there. Using the double jump really, really cleverly and making it super, his drift really ambiguous with that neutral air dodge. ZTN is holding onto center stage so well. This is going to be really, really difficult for Chris to try to get back onto stage. He used the flash to try to scare uh, ZTN away. I like the fact that he used his air dodge nice and early there, and it's only because he air dodge was he able to get back onto stage. Oh, I just neutral air dodging right into that F smash. Goodness. Yeah, he is. Air dodging the timing with which Phantom would have swung and killed. But F Smash went out before the Phantom did. What is going on? But. A lot of them too. Yeah. I think Chris is like running it and swinging a lot. And ZTN's like, okay, I know that my buttons beat yours. I'm just gonna wait for you to try to run anything and swing. But he's like, look at this, right? Chris wants to come in with those falling fears so often. Oh. But unfortunately, getting the wrong angle on the PK Thunder. And gonna meet an unfortunate and early end. And that's not gonna be the stock quite yet. ZTN holding on to that jump with him super, super well. Chris knowing, uh, Chris trying to go through that yo yo kill, but ZTN was just able to totally get onto the ledge. Yeah. <laughs> yo! <laughs> jump away from that. <laughs> that was actually mad close to him hit it. It would have hit him get... like he, he was the. That was like the only exact angle that, that would hit while you being on the floor so you'd get like a, a hard conversion. In fact, they're gonna take it. Mm hmm. Now Chris needs to do something if he wants to take this game. ZTN, look, look how patiently like he's playing. He's just like waiting. Okay, Chris, I'm gonna wait for you to overextend. I'm gonna wait for you to try to push Shantu. I know that my button is yours. I can, I can like safely space you out. So ZTN's just taking his sweet old time. Until not when he decides to upbeat center stage. Oh my god. Thank god that actually shortens the length because we hit the Phantom. And finally, Chris is able to get a little bit of a follow-up going, gets a little bit greedy, tries to go for the PK Thunder there, um, but not able to connect it, but also, strangely, uh, ZTN respected it. Um, didn't want to punish it at all. Oh my god, I had so, that PK so, so close to connecting. That is terrifying. It just, like, zooms up there. That's an to set up a tech chase at mid percent. Just gonna land a raw F smash. That's okay. The F smash right in the face, dude. I like that jump from PK Chris. He was definitely anticipating the uh, the up air from ZTN, like knowing that's what he, he likes to go for quite a bit. I love the commitment to the PK fire, but sadly he's not able to find it. He got the wrong angle on the PK Thunder, still gets unpunished for it, and ZTN just teleports to Sonic stage because, you know. If he closes out the stock, this game is doable. That's, That's gonna be the back throw. That's it. Yeah. We, we right. end it. Oh, so don't get. I, I just really met Chris. Like I had. I haven't known Chris that long. I've, I've like known who he was, but I didn't like actually talk to him until recently. But in my head, I like I like Brandon too. But he's definitely Vegeta. Like he's the bad guy. Mm. The way that Chris is spacing himself around ZTN Shield is super super good right now. Um, he's just like making sure that he can't get hit with any out of shield options, and that oh, might be the thing. Great. Luckily, he didn't die for it, but that was. Yeah, he only went for it because he knows that, like, okay, at this percent, he can't really hit me with anything, and I know that I won't die for it. That but shield was pretty sure. It's so much damage. This is not what you want to be against Zelda. This is so scary. Oh, and almost getting caught in the extended hitbox and getting F smash for it. Good. Yeah, the fade back has saved his life. Yeah. That was oh my! That that was really big brain. 
That timing over Phantom with the PK fire was really good. Oh my god, you can off stage against Chris. Chris prematurely ending his PK Thunder, not wanting to overcommit. He was trying to bait a uh, teleport from ZTN, actually. Chris is playing super, super patiently. He's playing this super well. And ZTN tried to bait him to go for the Magnet with the Din's Fire, knowing that the Phantom would be able to hit him in it and kill him. But Chris is so... Both of them outplayed each other so well in that one instance. That's down smash at... Oh. No! Let him... This is so close. Those up airs are super scary. He just needs to wait. Just wait out the Phantom. Don't, just don't even run up and shield it. Just wait out the Phantom. Oh my goodness. CTN is going cross country. He's up. Fanning, fanning states. And right now, Chris is doing like really long range space PK fires, knowing that ZTN, if he tries to go and reflect it, nothing will come out of it. So he's just like playing with him. Oh, and the, the, the Phantom connected. He was playing so well. Ah, what a heartbreaker, Chris.